Okay, everybody, this is uh, Connor again with uh, today's tutorial. We are going to be doing um, another GUI uh, Ruby uh, program programming language um, GUI interface uh, because, uh, for any of you know, if you know anything about Ruby, that uh, Ruby is a little bit behind when it comes to GUIs, and there are a few options. Not all of them are excellent, but um, there are. Today, I'm going to show you another. Uh, pretty good one. It's called uh, Shoes. It's a uh, GUI toolkit tool kit for Ruby. Let me go ahead and show you. Sorry. If you go ahead and look at uh, Shoes Ruby. Here we go. Color for colorful programs for Mac, OS X, Linux, and Windows. So what you're going to do is, go, is uh, go ahead and install it. And it has a simple little uh, program that you that you use to run everything um, here it is so you go ahead and download and install shoes and from there it has a manual that you can read that's very nice and simple easy um, and then or you can open an application so let's go ahead and uh, start coding it coding um, first off to define a shoes application at the top of the f file you write shoes app do and then you do the end and then within that will be your uh, your application now up here you can define a property title that you want to give your window which will you know that's at the top of your uh, win of your application let's call it uh, first uh, Ruby GUI in shoes okay now we're gonna define now normally you can just write your program um, without any class libraries or any without any kind of uh, particular organization but I do like to make a um, a class that stores all of my functions that do you know the event listeners or event handler functions so let's just go ahead and define a new class actions and uh, right here I'll show you later. Just go ahead and make a def initialize function. And we're going to pass some parameters to that a little bit later. And then um, within your... Uh, oh, today we're going to make a, a li small little login um, uh, window thing. So... Um, in, in shoes, there's something, there's things called stacks and flows. A stack is basically just, uh, it, it separates each element that you put on, um, the window with, with a, uh, line break. So, that's, that's all. So, that's what we're going to do. A stack do. And then, within that, within the stack do, uh, statement is all your code so we're gonna have uh, two input boxes or what what it's called in root uh, in shoes it's called an edit underscore line an edit line so let's go ahead and create that so username equals edit line so th that's edit line right here is how you define an edit line and we're storing it in a variable username so that we can work with it a little bit later and then password equals edit line so that creates two edit lines both stored in the uh, uh, variable username variable password and then we're going to create a button and let's and right here within the quotes we type in the text and let's call it uh, just login and then to create a click listener for a button you just do right after the quotes a do and then end again and within that actually up here at the top of our stack let's go ahead and initialize this class you know because before we can use it we have to initialize it so let's say uh, at my actions equals actions dot new and we're gonna pass a uh, a variable over to that I will uh, show you Actually, no, we don't. We don't need to pass any variable to it. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out. Button login do at my actions dot. 
let's say uh, let's let's call it do login. So my actions dot do login, and we're gonna send two parameters to it. Um, username dot text that gets the uh, the value of the that edit line, and then also password dot text. So basically. Right, all this chunk of code does uh, when the button's clicked, it sends um, two parameters, username, text, and password text to the function do login within actions class. So let's go ahead and create do login within actions, and the two parameters will be username and password. And put the end now. Um, ah. Now, what I want to send over to the cl to our class actions is um, the actual application object itself, um, because in order to work with a uh, the objects within an application within a class library, uh, you have to send the actual the shoes dot app um, object to the class because within the class this sh this shoes dot app it, it doesn't it can't I mean it can't access it from within you know do login or initialize so initialize will accept a parameter called um, my app and basically within the actions class we're gonna have a variable my app and then within initialize we're going to do at my app equals my app alright so that allows do login to access it and I'm going to show you okay let's send let's send uh, now in our uh, when we're initializing actions um, dot new to, to send the shoes application object to the to the class you, you just say self all right, so that allows us now to within do login. Um, since we have to go back inside of the shoes dot app object, we actually have to do at my app dot app do. So now we're back inside of our application. Uh, it sounds kind of confusing, but it's really not. You know, um, we're basically just doing the same thing as up here um, now we can uh, go ahead and let's say if username now you can make up anything here um, whatever you use whatever you want the username to be whatever you want the password to be let's say if username equals Connor and password equals oops double equals uh, let's say test. Um, so if it equals that, it's a successful login. We're gonna say alert um, successful login. So that alert just pops up a new when it's a, just a pop up window that says uh, successful login. Else we're gonna do alert um, incorrect username password combination all right so that's and then we're going to put an end all right so that's a uh, quick and simple little uh, that's our code right there let's go ahead and save it and the nice little thing about shoes with the, their little built-in program is you can simply uh, run these programs uh, through their to their shoes GUI. Um, so now I'm we're in our GUI. As you can see, first Ruby GUI and shoes is the title as we specified. We have our two edit lines and a login button. Um, if so if we just click it like that, just n type nothing in, incorrect username, password combination. Uh, click OK. Now if we type Connor, just nothing in the password field. Still says incorrect. Just something random in the password field, incorrect. And let's finally t type in our correct password. And 